Okay, are we continuing or starting yeah, again? Starting again. Okay. Okay, so here's the liver. Okay. Right lateral, right medial, left medial, left lateral lobes. And the gallbladder is here between the right lateral and the right medial lobes. Okay, so those are the structures there in the liver. The stomach is over here. It's shaped like a U. You can see the greater curvature and a little lesser curvature. The large fundus and the narrow pylorus. Cardia would be way up here where the food enters. The pylorus here ends at the pyloric sphincter, which is right about there. You can see the small intestine begins right here. So on the greater curvature of the stomach is this big apron of fat, which is known as the greater omentum, right? It's like a blanket covering the intestinal area, like so. And attached to the side of that is this long tongue-like organ, which is the cat's spleen. And I've pulled up the stomach because the spleen normally lays right behind the stomach. We also found the pancreas. If I lift this up, I see this pebbly glandular tissue running right under the stomach at the base of this greater omentum. And it actually runs along here and then down along the side of the large intestine, or the small intestine here. So it makes the shape of an L. But that pebbly structure helps you identify it as the pancreas. So we left off over here at the stomach. The stomach enters from the pyloric sphincter into the small intestine. And the first uh, duodenum or duodenum, the first segment